You know, he, he really wears his heart on his, his sleeve, doesn't he, Mitch Hancock? And I think that's the sort of person you need when you're in a relegation dogfight. Um, so I'm, I'm pleased to see him back in the, in the side. Yeah, many people felt for him on the bench and were eager for him to get on against Scunthorpe. Laurie Walker, Danny Collins, Jerome Akimo, Nicky Kabamba, Harry Pritchard, Ben Winter, Sam Beard, Dominic Revan, Courtney Senior, Musa Diara and Ryan de Havilland. It's the consistent sides that end up getting promoted and you know um, we'll see how it pans out but it's a massive game like you say for York City today. I know people are saying about Southend winning at Yeovil but really for me York have just got to win these home games you know this this one range of emotions Ale, they'll have experienced. York we can relate to FA Trophy semi-final defeat here's Winter playing a central ball and there's a little bit of space edge of the D quick turn and shot is just a simple one from Senior Barnett pick up the ball by the centre circle quick delivery is cut out by Paddy McLaughlin and Paddy can break now Hancock has made an excellently timed run on the left beats his man for pace fizzed it across the area across the back looking for John Lewis and oh. done well there. fantastically done by Alex Hurst He's going to tease, he's going to cross and John Lewis, oh, how did he miss? Nice to see the opposition having a differing central defence. Lovely cutting in from the right from Hancock, still going, still going and still going. Whittle now uh, yeah, on the left, kick. he's got the free kick as well, what a run. Yeah. Slightest of touches underneath his boot. Take two, Duckworth again is going to hit it, over and rising. Please, some York City fans, but not others. Very divisive player. South stand, by the way, is looking massive. Here comes the Hancock's cross towards the far post. Ellis goes up with the header. He's always the one to get the height on it, but there was too much height on the resulting header as well. This ball falls to York. Maybe slightly shaved us so far. That won't find Ellis. He stayed up there, Ellis, uh, supporting the front players, and he might be needed here. He's waiting to run in for whoever's going to cross it. Wasn't Duckworth. It's not Whittle either because he's played it back to Duckworth on the left. Gets it onto his right. Here comes the cross. Ellis is looking for it. He does Where? jump. He gets it onto John Lewis. Oh. Palmed over by the goalie. Head tennis on the far side. Always onside, is he? <laughs> We're waiting. Oh, no Shackley. flags. Ford. Ford coming in energy the area. Ford. One on one now. Jack yeah. Ford scores. On the pitch is where it matters right now. On the pitch is where City are 1 0 up. Yeah, when he called offside, when it went over the top, I think it was John Lewis was offside. Shaq Ford wasn't. He was coming from a, from deep and took that so, so well, didn't he? One thing in his mind once he got into the box. I thought he might have squared it to John Lewis, but I think, you know, a striker in that position wasn't going to do that. And he took that so well. Um, really pleased for Shaq Ford. He's had a little bit of criticism recently. I think a lot of that has been, uh, of his bad form, has been down to his fitness, really. He's been struggling with some hamstring issues, but... Yeah, one, one person you want when you're going clean through like that, and that is Shaq Ford, and yeah, brilliant finish from him. Fantastic. I don't think they have been on the same wavelength. I don't know whether these changes have just completely disrupted them, but it's certainly been to York's, York's benefit. It's Shaq Ford again here. He's got one man between him and the goal. Whittle's one of those supporting. Ford tries an ambitious ball to the far edge of the area. It's a fantastic one. Brought down by Hurst. Hurst has a crack at oh. goal. Narrowly over. David Moyo has come on as well. as Zimbabwe international, so. Got a few that be eligible to play in the African Cup of Nations, I think. John Lewis had over to try and link up with Ford. Back to falling kindly to John Lewis. He's just stumbled on that one, but picks it up in the area. Plays it outside to Hurst. Crunching tackle. Straight back to the Bees. Straight back to the Haviland. Right hand side, including Okimo, who will be looking for the header, and including Kanu coming up to join them now. Difficult one to defend, it comes goalwards. Deflects out on Hancock, I think, and a good, yeah, really good block there. Put by Whittle. Unusual personnel and formation tonight. He also got some criticism, the manager, for leaving out some of his best players on Saturday for the first half when they went 3-0 down to Gateshead. Long ball oh, through the centre, is he going to get there first before the goal yes. He does, he's got around him, Hancock oh. can't chase it down. 
Moyo, another one who hasn't been in the last two teams, the last league game or the last trophy game. Who's he's coming here? He's on loan from Barrow. Is Dyson? Great running from Great him. Mitch Hancock has managed to run onto the slip through pass. Hancock, right footed, chipped in. John Lewis, edge of the box, keeps it down. <laughs> I think goalie had it covered. Collinge for Barnett. Playing more defensively this half and trying to pick out Beard with the diagonal. Beard's first chest down is excellent. Gets it onto his left, tries to cross it. Oh. Whitney can't hold it and it spins out. Nice of it. I thought that was just in Whitney's hands. I didn't realise that he'd spilled it. It's the hour mark. Okimo throw for Barnett. Managing to shepherd Carnu out of the game a bit more. Okimo heads it forward looking for Moyo. Comfortable for Ellis. John Lewis. Oh, to Ford is onside, definitely. Ford, similar thing to the first one. Can he get a second? Ford, oh dear. Oh. Fair amount of time left in this game. Duckworth throw, John Lewis. I think it did touch his hand at one point, but apart from that, it was well controlled and the hand may have been accidental, so he's got himself the free kick. About to pick one, then on John Lewis. Free kick for York. Duckworth, right footed cross. Oh. Ellis, header, oh. just wide. Wow, what a chance. Like he's a man with a goal coming at some point for York. Yeah, I must admit he's been a lot better player for us than uh, than I first thought. When we first signed him, I thought, you know, journeyman player. What what's he going to offer us? But I think he's um, much better than that. Great run by Dyson. Yeah, Dyson's fine. John Lewis is coming into the area. He's going to oh. well, he tried dragged it across goal. Not quite certain that's what he intended. I think he's onside here, John he Lewis. Indeed. John Lewis is going to bed if he could just chest it down. He has managed to keep possession, though. Well, that may even see a shot from distance from Dyson. Oh, he hit it goalward. Goalkeeper gets down to his right to save. Towards Moyo is the new target man. It's on to Carnu. Tries to inject a bit of pace to it, and then it's out and it's into Moyo. Moyo in the area here oh. against Whitley. Couldn't quite get his boot laces to it. John Lewis turns, shoots. What can we make from this corner in front of that south stand? Making their presence known. Swings it towards Ellis. Headed out before it reaches him. Dyson Ooh. curling over the bar. Hangs off, waiting for support in the form of Hancocks. Oh, lovely ball out to the wide left position. Cross coming in. John Lewis again, edge of the area. City are still a lot of players forward here. McLaughlin makes a run, he's brought down. It's a great position, great, great position. Very central. Five yards outside of the D. It's Hancock's, he's the only man on it. Hancock's way off target. Which is best described as forgettable, I think. It's a shame because it's such a good position. Lewis running to the area, Dyson, Dyson again, he's going to shoot. Oh, oh, I think he's going to finish, really. Yeah. Yeah. Initially, he's straight across to Mark Moyo for this Barnet throw down the line. He competes with it well over to John Lewis. Now, John Lewis is going to bear down on the goalkeeper, John Lewis. Oh, oh. went for glory. Off target again. But it would be two clean sheets in two games if we can do it. Slipped clearance there. Mafuta gets it back for York City. Maz Kuyar, Mafuta. He's got the fresh energy on the right hand side. Supporting the area is from Ford. Oh, Mafuta is oh. a goalkeeper who fumbles it and nearly knocks it in his own net. Yeah, I think the linesman would have given offside. Obviously, Ford. The Paddy McLaughlin ends up staying on and takes his armband back. I think here's the minutes. Now, I imagine at least five. Danny Rowe takes his position up front, takes off the, the header there from Kuya, oh, hit it on target. Goal. And he scored with his first touch. Kimo coming forward for Barnett. Have they got one last throw with the Dyson? Kimo to Pritchard into the box, cannons off mm. Ellis, cleared by Dyson. Hearts in mouths. Carnu receives this one from Gorman. I think very slowly though, still Barnett, allowing York City to maintain that shape. To Haviland, to Carnu. Why their best players are so deep still, I've no idea. It's because you could push them back, I think. Beard picks this up on the left, gets it onto his right. There's the cross, it's a dangerous yeah, one. Well, well done, Whitley. Barnett have just not threatened, and you've got to say, they must be 
plus the end of the six minutes of added time because I mean, Barnett seems to have taken and there is the full time whistle and never I think I've ever seen him uh, they're supporting York City, a 1-0 win, seem more deserved than tonight. I think the players have really stepped up tonight, put it on Barnett right from the word go. I think, you know, I think we probably were fortunate the way that we got to play them a couple of days after they've played, but that being said, I think York have did the right thing, putting the press on them early doors, keeping the tempo right the way through, and every single one of them out there has been really committed to that. And, I, you know, I'm just delighted we've got the three points and that gives us that breathing space.